Next guest is a co-sponsor uh, of a motion to condemn and censure Adam Schiff. Uh, joining us tonight is Congressman Jim Banks, a member of the House Armed Services, Education and Veterans Affairs Committees. Congressman, good to have you with us. And what are the odds of that motion surviving? Well, I'm not optimistic, uh, Lou, that the Nancy Pelosi-led House will ever censure Adam Schiff, but they should. And for the same reasons that you just outlined, it is disgraceful. I agree with the president, the fake script that Adam Schiff read before the House Intelligence Committee. But the bombshell in the New York Times article today about Adam Schiff colluding all along with the whistleblower is either e even further evidence that he should be censured for his disgraceful activities. Uh, and a few people I uh, suspect are surprised that Schiff was part of a contrivance, an effort to uh, create uh, the architecture of this uh, a phony uh, persecution of the president, just as though uh, I'm sure they were all involved in, in the previous efforts to overthrow this president. Uh, that is the special counsel, Spygate, call it what you will. Uh, again, what can the Republicans do here? Well, at the end of the day, we now have just a couple of dozen members who have signed on to Andy, Representative Andy Biggs' motion to censure Adam Schiff. And I, I imagine when we get back from this two-week recess, Lou, there are going to be dozens more who signed on to the censure motion. At, at, and the bottom line there is that the, a censure motion with dozens of members um, is, a, is a, a, black, a black eye for Adam Schiff and his leadership of a very important committee. So he owes mm -hmm. the president an apology. He owes the American people an apology. My constituents in Indiana are ashamed at what they're watching every day on TV from the Russian collusion uh, hoax to the, uh, the, the treatment of Justice Kavanaugh and now these, uh, these fake impeachment uh, inquiry hearings as well. Um, Adam Schiff uh, should be held accountable. He's the first of many sh who should be held accountable for their bad actions. And what do you think of the idea that Nancy Pelosi is advancing that uh, the president should be uh, working with the, uh, the radical Dems on uh, everything from USMCA to uh, gun control, you, you name it. Uh, as she and Schiff and all are, uh, again, uh, simply persecuting politically this president. I, I'm in my second term, Lou, and uh, I've, I've been here just as long as President Trump has. And each step of the way, President Trump has been willing to compromise. He's been willing to sit down with the other side and find solutions to our country's problems, but this works both ways. And what we know now is that Nancy Pelosi refuses each and every time to work with this president. So that she, uh, Speaker Pelosi needs to take her own advice. Uh, and take her own advice. Should the president uh, tell her to go to hell outright? I, I mean, I don't understand why you Republicans, frankly, are so nice. I really don't. Uh, you, you've got, this looks like an effort to intimidate the president, to bribe him. Uh, he's been pushing all of these issues, and they've been nowhere for three years. Nowhere. And the ignorance of it is just, to me, colossal to have the effrontery to start making these suggestions that they have a nice little ceremony uh, in the uh, Rose Garden to celebrate their cooperation. I, I mean, it's, it's nuts. I, I agree with you, Lou, but th that, that's why this president is so popular in northeast Indiana, where I'm from, 80% uh, plus approval ratings the last time that, that we looked at his approval. It's because he never backs down. He always fights back. And Republicans need to join him more in that. You're, you're right. But that's, that's why so many of us are calling for uh, bad actors in the Congress like Adam Schiff to be held accountable. And that's why I, I stepped up today and signed Andy Biggs' motion to censure Adam Schiff for a series now of, of several um, a a actions that are unbecoming of a member of Congress. All right. Congressman, we appreciate it so much. Thanks for being with us. Great Congressman to be with you. Jim Banks.